This is Jen. She is eight years old. She loves playing hide and seek, and she loves her little baby brother. But Jen has been feeling bad lately. She is often tired and exhausted, and always thirsty too. Her parents are starting to worry. Let's take you to the doctor, they say, and so they do. The doctor checks Jen's temperature, monitors her blood pressure, and takes a blood sample to send to a medical lab. Now, what does that have to do with quality infrastructure? A lot. Quality infrastructure, QI for short, is a system put in place to ensure products and services are safe and of high quality. It covers standardization, conformity assessment, including testing, inspection and certification, metrology, accreditation, and market surveillance. All of this is defined by laws, acts, and technical regulations, and all of this plays a role for Jen, too. The doctor wants to know about Jen's blood sugar level, as her symptoms may be linked to a type of diabetes. To determine if Jen's blood sugar or glucose value is okay, the medical lab compares it with normal values for her age group. This measurement is complex and needs to be quality assured. It involves numerous steps and regulations. To make sure that any other medical lab in Jen's hometown measures or produces the same glucose values. But we won't deal with this in detail here. We just want to point out that the procedure follows a precisely defined sequence and uses precisely defined materials. In other words, the procedure is standardized, and so are the products involved. Standardization is one of the elements of quality infrastructure, providing guidelines on how something should be, including the quality system, products, services, and procedures. Standardization also defines the measurement unit, describing the syringe capacity, which in this case is milliliters. And it defines the design of the syringe. For example, the international standard ISO 7886 describes sterile hypodermic syringes for single use in detail. What parts does this kind of syringe have? What materials are to be used? How should it be tested? And more. Standardization also describes the specification of the centrifuge in which Jen's blood is spun to separate the red blood cells from the blood serum. A further element of quality infrastructure is conformity assessment. The task of conformity assessment is to check whether the relevant standards are met. Does the doctor have the training required by law? Does the lab fulfill the necessary hygiene requirements? Does the syringe comply with the requirements defined in ISO 7886? Does the centrifuge meet the demands of the relevant standard? Controlling medical institutions is the task of inspectors. Products like syringes and any other equipment are tested by specialized product testing labs. This is the testing and inspection part of conformity assessment. Another part of conformity assessment is certification. If the tests are successful, a certificate is issued which confirms that all the necessary specifications are met. Now, what is the role of metrology, another element of QI? Metrology has several tasks. One is calibration. Calibration means checking whether a measuring device measures correctly by comparing it to another device which has been proven to perform accurate measurements. In medical diagnosis, chemical metrology is even more important than calibration. For example, certified reference material is needed to compare Jen's blood values with. For the sake of simplicity, we will nevertheless stick to calibration in the following. Let's take the centrifuge as an example. To separate the blood cells from the plasma, Jen's blood must be centrifuged at a certain speed. The manufacturer checks whether this required speed is maintained before delivering the centrifuges. A tachometer is used for that. This is a device that has been specially designed for speed tests. The tachometer needs to be calibrated as well, of course, and compared to another reference device on a regular basis. This is done by an accredited calibration lab. The calibration lab has its measuring devices calibrated as well. 
This is usually linked to a country's National Metrology Institute, which has the equipment and skills to perform measurements with the highest accuracy. The National Metrology Institutes finally have to demonstrate their performance by taking part in global interlaboratory comparisons. Altogether, this chain of measurements forms a pyramid, the traceability pyramid. As you have heard, accredited bodies are an essential part of that pyramid. But what does accredited actually mean? And how can credibility be given to an institution? This brings us to the next element of quality infrastructure, accreditation. Accreditation is awarded by an institution that regularly visits QI organizations and laboratories, along with inspection and certification bodies, to check whether the rooms and the equipment are well maintained, if the staff's qualifications are adequate and up to date, and, above all, if the procedures meet the quality requirements. Once a laboratory passes this test, it can call itself accredited. Of course, there are standards for accreditation as well. For example, ISO 17025 defines the requirements for testing and calibration labs which are needed for the certification of products, whereas ISO 15189 defines how to accredit medical labs. Finally, there's market surveillance as the last remaining element of QI. The task of market surveillance is to investigate whether products on the market conform to the national laws and regulations. For that, inspectors take samples of the product, whether from the producer or a reseller, and check whether conformity is met. If in doubt, they submit the product to a testing lab to test the product in more detail. Quality infrastructure affects basically everything in a clinical setting or in a medical lab or the medicines Jen gets as a cure. Thanks to quality infrastructure, Jen's physiological parameters can be checked and monitored, the doctor can provide the treatment she needs and Jen will be playing hide-and-seek again very soon. Health is just one area in which QI is applied. However, it plays a role in all aspects of our lives. That's why we from the PTB International Cooperation Group support the development of quality infrastructure worldwide.